Hey everyone, my name is Justin and in this tutorial I'm going to show you one method to add some texture and mood to your photos in Photoshop. So jumping into Photoshop, we've already got a really nice and clean image. I got this from Death to Stock, so it's already really high quality and kind of hard to mess up. But we're just going to add some grungy texture and a little bit more of a colder color and vibe to it with a couple easy steps. So the first thing you want to do is find a paper texture or wall texture or just whatever texture you have in mind on any stock image website or resource website or Google like DeviantArt or freeimages.com. You just want to make sure it's not copyrighted if you're going to use it for non-personal uses. So I've got this paper texture here that I think will work nicely to add some crinkles and folds and dirt to the image. So I've got it open in Photoshop and I'll just drag the layer onto my stock image canvas and we'll just click OK to match the color profiles. So you can see it's not exactly the same size because the original image is much bigger, but in this case it's not going to be too much harm if we lose a little bit of quality by stretching it. So I'll just press Command T, you could also go to Edit, Free Transform, and I'll hold Shift to rotate it into the right landscape mode, and then I'll also scale it up until it fills the image. And again, it doesn't matter if you lose too much quality because we're trying to add dirt and grunge to it anyways. So I'll press enter and now we have one layer on top of the other. And from here you can do things like set it to a blending mode like soft light or overlay and you'll see that it'll add that texture. You could also use multiply or darken and it'll only take the dark parts of the image. But one thing I like to do for these paper textures since they're mostly going to be light is I actually like to invert them. So if you go to Command I, or you could go to Image Adjustments, Invert. If we invert it, we're left with mostly black with some white folds, which is a cool little play because now we can set it to screen or lighten. And now we have that light dust and texture, which I think plays nicely off of a lot of darker images. So that's a cool trick is inverting it and setting it to screen or lighten. And from here we can take the opacity and turn it down to something that is a little less strong to our liking or whatever liking you want. But you'll notice there's this big crease going down the middle and there might be parts of your stock texture that you don't quite like. So one thing we can do to kind of blend those parts out and get a nice even texture is grab our clone stamp tool and we'll just work on normal blending mode just so we can see what we're doing but grabbing my clone stamp tool and using a large soft round brush I'll hold option or alt and I'll sample form somewhere that's smooth and I'll just paint it over this sharp crease that I don't like on the image. So I can pretty much totally cover the crease and then I can set it back to screen or lighten and the crease is totally gone and we have a smooth clean texture to the image. So we've added a little bit of dirt and grunge but the next step I like to do is also influence the colors to give it a bit of a colder contrasted feel. So one quick way to do this that's hard to mess up when you have such a nice starting image is using photo filters. So if we go to layer, new adjustment layer, photo filter, we can pick a cooling filter or choose a custom color of our liking of any blue, but also stick with this cooling filter 80. And with preserve luminosity checked, I can turn it up to something like 50%. Now I wouldn't leave it just like this. I think that looks way too blue, but what you can do with this strong blue color is set the actual adjustment layer onto a blending mode like overlay or soft light and then this is also a bit too strong, so I like to turn the opacity down to about 50% and even out the effect. So you can see it really adds a little bit of contrast and blue, colder color to the image. So in these two quick steps, we've added texture and color, so you can see the before and after. It just adds a little bit of interest to an already really nice photo to maybe fit whatever theme or application that you are going to use it for. If you guys did enjoy this video, definitely subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for future videos and let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.